Firefighters in the province of Córdoba in central Argentina were trying Saturday to put out the fierce fires raging in the region for three days. Local authorities said the flames had reached homes, and many neighbors were evacuated in Los Cocos and Capilla del Monte towns. This fire was really severe, we saw desperate people, we saw houses catching fire, we saw injured people. There's a boy who got burned and suffered injuries, burns on his body. So it was very tough, said Leonardo Heredia, a member of the civil defense of the town of Los Cocos. A combination of strong winds, high temperatures, and low humidity favored the fire, which spread high flames that were difficult to control due to the weather conditions, explained Heredia. We toured the areas affected by the fires in the Punilla Valley, in the town of Capilla del Monte and surroundings, where we have evacuees, the governor of the province of Córdoba, Martín Lariora, informed through social media. Y bueno, ayer fue un día durísimo, un infierno en todo el pueblo, se quemaron casas, eh, fue un, una tarde que el fuego pasó muy rápido, que es, con todo el laburo de todos los bomberos, bomberos locales, bomberos de casi todo Córdoba. Dale, gracias, Alberto. Fíjate, fíjate que el Este creo que fue muy duro, muy duro, donde vimos eh, gente desesperada, donde vimos casas incendiarse, donde vimos gente herida. Hay un chico que se quemó, que tuvo incidentes, quemaduras en su cuerpo, así que fue muy durísimo. Russia has about 20 arsenals of the same class as one in the Tver region. Ukrainian military expert Valery Ryabik said this. There are about 20 such arsenals on the territory of the Russian Federation. About seven of them are located within the potential range of the destruction means at a distance of 650 to 700 kilometers, which is typical, for example, for the Palyanitsia missile. It is possible that it could also have been used for this strike. After all, there is a video where you can hear a sound similar to a jet engine used in a rocket launcher. So, yes, there are up to seven units of this class of arsenals in this range, although most of them are smaller, he said on the Espresso TV channel. The warehouses are located along the supply lines of the troop groups, the military expert said. Some of them are located near the destroyed facility. Another number of facilities are stretched across Russia from north to south. One of these arsenals is located in the North Caucasus. It also falls under the potential impact of the agents that could be used given the damage in the Tver region, Ryabik said. Commenting on the strike on the warehouses in Toropets, he noted that Russia could hide some aspects of the construction of such warehouses due to the high level of corruption in the Russian Defense Ministry. However, the successful work of the Ukrainian armed forces should be taken into account. Many officials are already in jail for corruption crimes. On the other hand, we should not underestimate the skill of the armed forces which have found a way to destroy such warehouses. Destroying underground depots requires special tactical techniques and weapons with penetrating warheads that can reach protected ammunition caches, Ryabik added.
Estonian Defence Forces Intelligence Centre anticipates consequences of the lost ammunition on the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. The attack by Ukrainian drones on a missile depot in the Russian city of Toropets on September the 18th will lead to consequences on the front of Russia's war against Ukraine, which will be noticeable in the coming weeks. This was stated by the head of the Intelligence Centre of the Estonian Defence Forces, Colonel Ants Giviselg. He noted that the Ukrainian defenders struck the warehouse at a time when some of the Russian ammunition had not yet been placed in the bunkers. Therefore, a chain of explosions occurred. Kiviselg recalled that 30,000 tons of ammunition exploded, that is about 750,000 shells. According to him, Russia produces 10,000 shells a week, that is, it is a two to three month supply of ammunition. As a result of this attack, Russia suffered losses in ammunition, and we will see the consequences of this loss on the front in the coming weeks, he said. On September the 18th, drones of the Defense Forces of Ukraine successfully attacked the arsenal of the main missile and artillery department of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation in Toropka, Tver region. As noted, the warehouses stored missiles for operational tactical missile complexes, Tochka-U, anti-aircraft missiles and artillery ammunition.